The year is 1930 and this is one man's journey. He was an aspiring engineer, but what he wanted more than anything in the world was to create engines. So he had a dream. His dream was to create his own efficient engine prototype. He called it the piston ring engine. And so he invested all his time and money into making this dream a reality. He figured he'd create an engine prototype that was revolutionary. And he hoped that this would allow him to get a job at one of the biggest car manufacturers in the area, Toyota. Now, of course, his dream cost a lot of money and so much so that it actually made him broke. He even had to pawn his wife's engagement ring to fund the project with the promise that one day it would all be worth it. And eventually, his project was complete. He took his ideas straight to the factory and requested an interview. He told them that he was a passionate engineer and that he just wanted to work in the assembly line. He showed them his idea and they turned it down. They told him that his idea was flawed and that he had no qualifications and, he, and that he didn't know what he was doing, so they weren't interested. They just didn't want to work with him. So he got sent home with his tail between his legs and having to swallow the bitter pill of rejection. But he still wanted to be an engineer. He still loved making engines. So he spent his next days and months making small engines for bicycles and he would ride his creations around the town. One day his neighbor noticed him and asked if he could take one of his creations around for a spin. So he does, and he comes back and says, wow, you know, this is actually pretty good. Why don't you go into your own business? Why don't you make scooters? He thought about the idea for a moment and he said, you know what, I love doing this. I think I will. I'm gonna do scooters. That's what he started with. But that's not what he ended with. His last name was Honda.